So I use mouthpiece patches on all of my mouthpieces. I just don't like the way bare teeth feel on a mouthpiece. And I've got this trick on how to put one on without leaving a fingerprint. Take your mouthpiece patch and you peel it off halfway without touching the adhesive. That's how you leave the fingerprint. You put it on there like that, and then you peel this off. Perfection. Now mouthpieces are expensive. So in addition to protecting the beak with the mouthpiece patch, you should also protect the rest of it with one of these mouthpiece pouches from Vandoran slash Protec. I use these all the time. They're awesome. If you're like me and you have a ton of mouthpieces, don't just let them flop around in a drawer. This plastic mouthpiece manager stand by Rovner is super practical. It's important to note that as much as you may want to display your mouthpieces for the world to see, if they are hard rubber, you should keep them in the dark to avoid discoloration. Metal and plastic are fine to leave out though. Here's one. My very first ligature upgrade was one of these basic Rovners. These things are indestructible. They last forever. They fit on all different kinds of mouthpieces and they hold reeds on there very well. Hey, I wanna quickly thank the sponsor of this video, Sweetwater. They are the number one retailer for musical instruments in the US. And two years ago, they began carrying band and orchestra stuff. Now they've got a complete catalog and you can get every one of the items in this video, as well as pretty much anything else you can think of at sweetwater.com. I put links in the description below. Keep in mind that Sweetwater offers free and fast shipping, as well as financing for the more expensive expensive stuff. They've got amazing customer service. If you have any questions, you could call them up and get an expert who plays your instrument on the phone and they'll like give you advice on whatever it is you're looking for. I absolutely love working with them and that's why all the better sax gear is available exclusively through Sweetwater in the US. They've also got some killer Black Friday deals going on, so be sure to check those out as well. Now you can't play the saxophone without reeds and these Better sax jazz cut reeds are the best I've ever played. I use every single one out of every box. They're made from organic cane grown here in the south of France where I live. And we use eco-friendly packaging with no plastic. They also make a great gift for any saxophone player. Now the Swab is the most overlooked and underused saxophone accessory. Everyone should have one of these for each of their saxophones. Our ultimate sax swab kits come with three microfiber parts. You get one of these body swabs and a neck and mouthpiece swab. You want to use this every time. And get one of these pad cleaners. I like to use it to remove the moisture from the palm keys and also the left hand stack keys, which can get a bit wet. All saxophone players should be thinking about protecting their hearing. A saxophone is a really loud instrument. And if you're playing on stage with other loud instruments, you could damage your hearing. These eraser earplugs are the best sort of cheap earplugs you can get. I love them. It allows you to still hear the natural sound of the saxophone when you're playing. Throw in this little carrying case so you always have them with you. In the old days, I had a stand light with a cable and light bulb, which was a pain. This wireless stand light I got recently is awesome. The battery lasts a long time. You get plenty of light. The gooseneck adjusts nicely. If you read sheet music for gigs, you probably want one of these. Now the Better Sax Geeklet is my absolute favorite saxophone accessory. It's a reed adjusting tool. And what it does is it allows you to make your good reeds great, your so-so reeds very good, and your great reeds last a whole lot longer. Every serious saxophone player should have one of these in their case. Now these Manhasset music stands are still the best for me. I don't mess around with those fold up ones. I love how sturdy these things are, how they can handle a lot of weight. I've got two of these and I love them. These Hercules stands are excellent. I love how it grips the bell of the saxophone when you put it down and releases when you lift. Just a little more security to make you feel at ease and it adjusts for alto as well as tenor saxophone. So I've been using this sax holder contraption thing for many years. It's still the best neck strap if you want to displace the weight off of your neck and spinal column 
and leave that area totally free. It makes the saxophone feel lighter. Only issue is it kind of looks a bit goofy, but you know what? So many saxophone players have adopted the sax holder that it's kind of becoming the norm. Well, this little guy here is called the Yanni Boostar. It's a weighted neck screw. It's one of those things you might not buy for yourself, but it's nice to have. Apart from, you know, feeling very nice in the fingers when you're tightening and loosening that up, many players feel that it adds resonance to your saxophone because it's at this crucial connection point between the neck and the body tube. Now, if you want a more aesthetically pleasing neck strap, this is the BG Zen strap, and it does a very good job of keeping the cords of your neck strap away from your neck area where all the blood is flowing. I use a strap like this on alto all the time because instrument is not quite as heavy and you know it looks cool so this is the new protec zip case i've been using it lately i took it on a long trip and it's actually been great it protects the saxophone well it's really you know convenient to carry you got the zipper it's got backpack straps i only use the one it's also got this nice handle here downfall is it doesn't have very much space for anything inside but they do offer a case cover you can add if you want to put your accessories and stuff in there so this is the zither wood stand which is very nice it's meant to just look nice in your room it's not something you would take with you on gigs and stuff what i like about it is that it holds the saxophone quite high in the air compared to typical saxophone stands it's got this very large base which makes it nice and stable how about a mouthpiece upgrade this is the better sax burning mouthpiece which have been extremely popular since they came out a few years ago. It's a great upgrade for anyone serious about playing saxophone who wants the brightness and power and projection of a modern mouthpiece with the control and warmth of great vintage pieces. These are made in the USA from premium hard rubber at the Jody Jazz Factory in Savannah, Georgia. And we've got them now for alto, tenor, and baritone saxophones. I'm gonna be playing them in a minute, stay tuned. These are Apple AirPods Pro and I use them during every practice session. Not only do they allow me to hear my metronome or backing tracks or music I'm playing along with, but in transparency mode, they allow me to hear the natural sound of my saxophone while I'm playing. And at the same time, they're protecting my hearing. I can't recommend these highly enough. In the Better Sax studio, I have our members submit recordings of themselves to get my personal feedback on their playing. And a lot of them use one of these microphones. It's the Apogee Mic Plus. I've been using it for years for quick recordings. It has a great sound quality. And what's great about it is it's USB. So you could just plug it into a phone or an iPad or any computer and you know instantly be recording you don't need lots of other gear so if you want to practice the saxophone without making any noise so you don't bother the neighbors or when you're traveling you might be interested in the yamaha ys 120 this is their digital saxophone <laughs> You can't develop your sound, you can practice all the fingerings, you could learn songs, practice your scales, stuff like that. And here's another digital saxophone that I actually like even more. This is the Travel Sax 2. It does cost a bit more, but it's smaller, so it's extremely convenient for travel and it's got Bluetooth connectivity, so you can have it play what's ever on your device, like your phone, music, backing tracks, metronome, whatever, and that'll come out through the headphones. Now we're getting into the more expensive stuff, which is for the very good boys and 
girls. This is the Better Sax Alto Saxophone, which has been the best selling band and orchestra instrument on Sweetwater.com since they started selling saxophones two years ago. Its popularity is due to the fact that you're getting an amazing high quality instrument that looks super cool at an unbelievable price. It really is the ideal upgrade or starter saxophone. And we've just announced the release of the tenor version of this saxophone, same concept, an amazing high quality instrument at a very accessible price. And both of these instruments are available exclusively from Sweetwater in the US where you get included their 40 point inspection, a two year warranty, free fast shipping, as well as the best customer service in the industry. Now, in order to demonstrate for you how these saxophones sound, I'm gonna play through three of my favorite microphones, which are also great gear recommendations. This first one is the Biodynamic M160 double ribbon mic. I love ribbon mics for the saxophone. They give a very natural representation of the sound. This one you can use in the studio or for live performances. Now, when I'm playing live, I usually use this Neumann clip-on microphone because it just allows me more freedom of movement so I could turn around and look at the other musicians if I need to communicate with them. It's a condenser mic, so it gives a different sort of vibe, but it still has a very natural and clean sound that represents the natural sound of the saxophone really well. Have a listen. <laughs> Now I'm usually using that clip on mic with this X5 wireless system. So this can turn your clip on microphone or really any kind of microphone into a wireless mic. It works amazingly well. And if you do get this to use with a condenser, make sure you get the version that works with condenser microphones and has the phantom power. And this one is sort of the crown jewel. It's another ribbon microphone. It's the Nuvo N8 by AEA. Fantastic microphone. You can use this in the studio and live. It's quite expensive. But if you've been watching my YouTube channel, you've heard me play and record on this one many times, and you probably understand why I like it so much. <laughs> I've done in-depth reviews on many of the items in this list, so you might want to check those out right here next. And if you want to get access to tons of free saxophone lessons, as well as PDF downloads and MP3s, click the link in the description below to sign up for the Better Sax Shed. You can also opt into the Better Sax newsletter to get notified when I post new videos and to be the first to know about what's happening in the saxophone world.